gentlemen, we're in Lenox Mall and I am in need of some new white sneakers. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I bring the camera and actually do a little shopping vlog? Now, my old white sneakers, the one that I'm wearing, are awesome and I still wear them, but the fact that they've got the gum sole makes them a little more casual. And I'm looking for an all white pair of leather, like minimal sneakers, so I thought, why not shop around, see what I find, and let you guys know what the best deal, in my opinion, is on some super sick sneaks. In my opinion, the white minimal sneaker, leather sneaker, is one of the most perfect shoes a guy can own. So my current sneakers, boom, right there, getting a little bit worn. I wear these things all the time. They came from Suit Supply, and they were like $169. So I'm gonna try some high end, I'm gonna try some low end. I think the first place I'd like to start to look, because I honestly don't know who has white like leather minimal sneakers. I know that I'm definitely gonna go check out Suit Supply, see what they have. Um, Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, but I think the first stop is going to be Macy's. If you guys like this whole like shopping vlog type situation and video, make sure to drop me a big Alpha M thumbs up to let me know, yo Alpha, I dig it. Let's go to Macy's. The first white minimal sneaker I'm gonna try is from Cole Haan. I really like the design, the profile, and the toe. I'm a big like sucker for like a nice, clean toe that's not like too big and bulky and boxy. Um, the price is $119, so it's pretty reasonable. So the Cole Haan's crazy comfortable, amazing price, the leather's super soft, they're just great shoes. The thing that's kind of throwing me off a little bit are these metal eyelets. Um, my current sneakers don't have it and I feel like the, the metal makes it look a little bit more casual, but these are definitely an option. So I dig the Cole Haan's, super comfortable, incredible price, but those metal eyelets I'm just not, I'm not feeling. So it's time to move on. What do you say we go try on? Some more expensive shoes. Let's go to Neiman Marcus. I know they've got common projects there along with some other like super high-end brands. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous though. I've never brought a camera into Neiman Marcus. I rarely shop there because honestly, I always feel a little bit intimidated when I go in that store. I feel like everybody in there is kind of like looking at me. <laughs> I, know, I know it's stupid, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know what it is about Neiman Marcus. It's not like a warm, friendly place to shop. It's definitely got like this like snooty vibe in my opinion, but what do I know, right? Let's go try and check it out. You know you need enemies. <laughs> I had to make a pit stop in G-Star. <laughs> See if they've got any of my jeans. What do you think, do you like these? Yeah, simple, lightweight, light wash. What do you think, man? Cool. Cool? <laughs> have a good one, man. I'll take Later. care. I had to order the jeans. They don't have them in stock, but I bought them and I'm super excited. Dude, What's up, dude bro? I watch you on YouTube all the time. <laughs> all the time. I appreciate it. Neiman Marcus. I'm telling you, I feel so uncomfortable going into the store. That is style. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's Givenchy, Givenchy, I don't, I don't know, man. What's up, Tom? What's going on? We out here shopping, you know, yeah. trying to get fresh, you know what I mean? <laughs> you see, I started, I started at the sales section first. Yeah, exactly, you know, right? I started at the sales section. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's Todd from The Real Housewives Baby of Atlanta. It's pretty cool. You never know who you're going to run into in Neiman's. Uh, they don't have my size in the Givenchy. How do you pronounce it? Givenchy. Givenchy. <laughs> Very <laughs> chic. Let me see what else they got. It was at this precise moment that I got stopped for filming and somebody came out of the back was like, yo, you can't film in here. I'm like, of course I can't. And so anyway, guys, they did have common projects. I set the camera down and got a little footage. So the common projects were surprisingly comfortable. They were built incredibly well. Uh, but the thing that I wasn't too wild about, they made my feet look really big for some reason. I think they've got a slimmer profile than I'm used to, but honestly, the common projects were nice. For 450 bucks though, I'm not so sure they're that nice. I'm headed to Bloomingdale's.
to interrupt this little shopping trip just to acknowledge the fact that my hair looks pretty solid today, right? Gentlemen, if you want solid hair, you've got to check out Pete and Pedro. Which brings us to today's video sponsor, Pete and Pedro. Gentlemen, real quick, I just want to let you guys know that if you are somebody who's looking for a new hair product or a hair product that you will fall in love with, guys, you got to hit that link down below and go check out Pete and Pedro. There is also a discount code for you if you find something you want to try. And if you're not sure what Pete and Pedro product is going to be perfect for you or your hair, we've got some tools that will actually auto-generate a recommendation for you. I will link to to the hair product auto generation tool down below. All you got to do is tell us what hairstyle, how much hold, how much shine you're looking for, and we will make a custom recommendation for you. The products that I use every day are a pre styler of the sea salt spray. And in terms of product, if you're looking for a matte product with a high hold, low shine, guys, you got to check out the Pete and Pedro Putty. Go to the site and read the reviews. It's not just my opinion, it's everybody who is using our products is falling in love. We use super super premium ingredients, guys, to make sure that our products are not only incredibly effective, they're good for your hair. Guys, hit that link down below. Go check out Pete and Pedro and get Bueno Hair today. I've been here for about 10 minutes waiting for somebody to come and help me with the size. Um, I haven't seen anybody, and quite frankly, I'm tired of waiting, and I think I don't really love these sneaks, and for $400 or $350, I think we are out of here. Gentlemen, let's go check out and see what Suit Supply has to offer. What's up? Doing good? Yeah, man. Good to see you. Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? I'm Aaron. Here, blue suede, which are sick. Brown suede, taupe suede, white. 179. So if you're going to try to elevate a classic sneaker like this and take it above just a jean, I would wear it with a suit or a sport coat, a little bit more of a casual fabric. So like a cotton, this is a deconstructed suit here, so it just has a really casual elegance about it. it makes a lot of sense with sneakers, whereas like your worsted wools, your very dressy suits, like what I'm wearing right now, doesn't make any sense with a sneaker. Linen, casual sport coat, deconstructed through the shoulders with a casual sneaker. All right, gentlemen, so I'm back from our little white sneaker shopping safari. Can you guess which ones I bought? <laughs> if you said suit supply, you would be correct. Um, I ended up going with the suit supply. Number one, they fit me incredibly well. Number two, I've worn or I own two other pairs of their white sneakers and they've held up incredibly well. Actually, I own the brown pair and the white pair. And so these kind of just made sense. I tried on the common projects. I really like the quality, but for $425 versus like these for half the price, which interesting side note, um, Nish, the vice president of suit supply, when he and I were hanging out, he told me that their sneakers are made in the same factory as common projects, but common projects are 425 suit supplies are like a hundred and like 80 bucks. And so that's my pick. If you guys are interested in checking these out, guys, I'll link to them down below. And let me say this one more time. This video was not sponsored by Suit Supply, period, end of story. I just love the brand. I love the product. And for 200 bucks, guys, these things are built incredibly well. Down below, what is your favorite white sneaker that I should check out next time I'm in the need? Guys, down below, I would love to get like a list of the best like white sneakers out there in your opinion. I only could find sneakers that were in the mall, but if there are some online brands that you guys think are awesome, list it down below. And remember, if you dug this video, make sure to give it one of these and we'll do some more.